Welcome everybody, this is your boy Joanna Matero and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters that's on my YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Weez GNZ Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform, and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out, and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the KO Preco Heist inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always, make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements. Once you have completed that process, then download this mod, and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Now this mod does require a few requirements, so make sure that you do download and install Enable all interiors. Next, download Lemon UI, and I will leave this inside my description below. So, once you have completed downloading all three files, we can get started. Once you have completed that, then go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open the file location. Make sure that you do install your requirements first. Once you have completed that, then make sure that you do create a scripts folder. Make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure that it is all lowercase. Open up the scripts folder. As you can see, it's completely empty. So let's get started. Open up your Lemon UI extract folder. Go to your SHVDN3 folder. Select all of the files inside that folder and then drag it inside your scripts folder. Go back one and now open up your SHVDN2 folder, select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Next, exit out of your extract folder. Open up your Lemon UI, enable all interiors extract folder. Then now there will be another folder in there. Open up that folder. And now all you gotta do is select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, open up your KO Preco Heist extract folder. There will be another folder in there. Open up that folder. Now next, Select all of the files and folders and drag it inside your sketch folder. Now you'll get this alert, just replace your files. Exit out of your extract folder. Now next, all you gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Right click, refresh the game folder. Exit out of your game folder. Right click, refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are back with Franklin, so as you guys can see that I'm in the game. And now I'm at the location where the submarine is going to be. But, as always, uh, you can come to the location over here on the map. You can come over here, but if you don't want to go over there, then uh, you can simply just open up your phone. And now go to your contacts, then go right down to the bottom. And now you'll see the submarine options now before you do anything okay you must go and buy the submarine so let's go and buy the submarine first and then a menu shall pop up now when your menu pops up go to modify or buy the submarine now buy the submarine and now it's right in front of you as you can see it's right there 
and now we can modify the submarine you can buy the flags or etc you can request another location and now you can change the colors and etc and buy missiles and etc but this video is all about the heist so you can just change all your options and etc in settings once you're happy with your settings you can save your settings as well then now there you go now once you have brought your own submarine then now you must go and enable your interiors open up your phone go to contacts again then go right down to the bottom and then go to enable interiors now another menu should pop open go to change an interior then now you must go and find the heist there you go pick a heist now you must make this all true if you see any of these like false then make sure you change it to true when you're happy with your settings go right down to the bottom to misc options now this is highly recommend now you must go to load mp maps now change that to true and now enable blips change that to true now this is optional i always do this but change random colors to true once you're happy with your settings go refresh now wait for a few seconds now back out and now all you got to do on your keyboard is press insert your game will freeze for only a few seconds and then now it'll come back now let's go to our submarine and i'll see you guys there there and now we are going inside our submarine and now there we go and now as you can see i haven't fallen down the map yet so i'm not going to go and give you guys a tour around the submarine everybody should know what it looks like so let's go straight to the heist go to the white marker over here press e and now wait for a few seconds now we need to go and meet davy at the airport so i'll see you guys there now we are at the location now as always i'm not going to watch the whole cutscene okay because it's gonna take a long time so i'm just going to skip the cutscene and now we should be at the location right over here now let's go over here and let's go and jump into the vehicle now as always i'm not going to do the heist because it will make the video really really long and then now we should be over there so as you guys can see we are here at the location and i'm going to skip this cutscene and now we have made it so as you can see we have made it to the cutscene and now we made it to the location so that is how you guys install it and that is how you guys actually play it as well so yeah i hope you guys do enjoy this mod and we're back on our pc so like always if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and i'll be more than welcome to help you out on that or if you do get stuck installing any other mods then please let me know in the comments and i'll be more than welcome to help you out on that don't forget i do have a discord server my discord server is in some of the description below so if you need help or more support then go and check it out okay and don't forget i will be leaving the developers discord server inside my description below as well so go and check that out so with that I said if you guys did enjoy this video smash the like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and i'll see you all on my next video thank you for watching peace and i'm out